Hello and welcome to my channel. I am Stephanie. This is the read the colors of my shelves. So, like always, um, for this series, I have been using the color wheel to choose randomly choose a color. And then I pick books from my bookshelves to represent the colors that is picked. So let's see what color we're going for in this video. Okay, our color is dark red. So I think I picked a good selection of books in which um, kind of fit this whole dark red thing. So uh, let's just jump right into the books. First book that I'm gonna tell you guys to go check out is Await With Me by Amy Dawes. And this is the book that Amy wrote while sitting in the tire waiting, the tire shop waiting room. And it's about a sexy mechanic. Love it. There's antics, there's uh, waiting room writing. I mean, it's as if she put herself into a rom-com and she gives it to us. Um, it has been recently said that this book is going to be optioned as, um, as a film. I don't know if it's on passion flicks or where exactly it's going to be, but super excited to see this book come to life. It is funny. It's sexy. It's fun. Um, and once you dive into this one, if you haven't dove into any other Amy Dawes books, which you really should, you really should. She's hilarious. Hilarious. Love her writing. Um, you will you will definitely be wanting to dive into more Amy Dawes after you read this one. So go check that one out. Next, that we Secret have. Crush by Megan Quinn. And this is about the Port Snow brothers. Um, this well, Port Snow is a town in Maine. And uh, it's actually the Get Lucky series. Um, this is a Mott Lake published book so I don't know if that teeters on traditional or if it's indie still but um so the brothers from Port Snow there's four of them there's four books in the Get Lucky series this one happens to be um so I'm getting ahead of myself the brothers go down to New Orleans and um think that they have a curse put on them so the brothers have to mature themselves before they can find love and in this one we have a brother that is a chef and he goes and ends up having like a run of bad luck after they come back from New Orleans. He ends up losing his restaurant. So he ends up back at home. He's a little bitter about that. But his best friend um, that had a sister, you know, is like do I go after her? Don't I go after her? She's like, do I go after him? Do I tell him how I feel? And oh, loved it, loved it, loved it. And if you like food in your books, give this one a spin because some of the food that they talk about in here, it's like, ooh, where can I hunt down and search for a real life chef that makes this food? Because it sounds a delicious, delicious. Next, we have this cute little, small, adorable special edition copy of Overture by Sky Warren. And this is a taboo dark romance that deals with an age gap. And um, it's sort of a she was he is her guardian. And when she becomes of age, he like thinks about um dabbling in the things that the naughty naughty things and she's like uh I want those naughty naughty things and <laughs> yes yes so good so good it's such a good like little short story and I've never really looked at this but yeah she plays violin he's trying to make sure that she does what she needs to do to become that professional that she wants to and <laughs> love it but I love this special edition little um beautiful dark red cover right here it's so bright next we have the price of honor by alethea romig and it's a very rare that i get to show off book covers from alethea romig because hers are very um semi-standard but this time we picked a color that 
I could showcase, which I'm super excited about. And this is a spinoff novel from um, her Infidelity series. And this is about the dad. And I was here for it. Here for it. Throughout the Infidelity series, you get to see the dad, um, Oren. You get to see him as a older gentleman. And this tells you about his love for Knox's mother and how their lives were and what Knox is actually into or why Knox is into the stuff that he's into. And I loved every single moment of it. Like I really enjoyed getting to know Oren. I mean, I wasn't a big fan of him in the infidelity series, but definitely, definitely uh, changed my mind with this one. Next, we have Pucked, which is the first book in uh, Helena Hunting's Puck series, all about hockey players. And she's done a couple spinoffs of this. I absolutely love her red and black colors that she, her color scheme that she has going on for the Puck series. Um, it's super fun. It is like funny and crude. So if crude humored romance is not your thing, then you might want to pass on this one. But I loved it. Um, and, you know, we, we got a famous hockey player with a stepbrother's sister. Yeah. Hockey teammate sister type thing going on and here for it. Here for this whole entire series. Loved it all. And all of them have the whole red and black thing going on. And I was here for it. Next, we have Cocky Bastard by Vi Keelan and Penelope Ward. I said those out of order, sorry. Um, but this is a uh, Australian like guy on a road trip, and he comes across this woman that kind of needs his help, and then they end up road tripping, um, and some things to learn about them. It's fun. It's quick. It's fun. It's witty. Yeah, really enjoyed it. Think you guys should go check this one out as well. Um, and then finally we have gifting me to his uh, best friend by Katie Robert. Um, this is part of her taboo series and <laughs> holy smokes, you guys, this one right here is straight fire. It is straight fire. I mean, I don't even... It's super short, so I can't really tell you what's going on with it. But let's just say there's forced proximity. There's some gifting to his best friend. Um, vacation where you get snowed in. Loved it. Loved it. Loved it. Oh, so much. Ooh, super smoking hot. So those are some dark red covered books that I think you should go check out. Um, let me know down in the comment section if you guys have read any of those books and what you thought of them. Do you agree with me that they're fire, that you need to go read them? If not, that's fine as well. We can all have our different flavors and tastes and things like that. I just think you should go read them. Um, other than that, thank you guys for watching. As always, if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Also, there is a feedback form down in the description box so you guys can help me improve my channel. My PayPal and my Patreon and all my other social links are in the description box so you guys can follow me on all my social media platforms. Thank you again for watching and we will see you in another video.